Collaborative efforts have made some of the most interesting hip-hop albums to grace the genre within the past 20 years. People like Method Man and Red Man have made the Blackout series. Run the Jewels has made their series of albums, soon to be a fourth, and then you have Jay-Z and Kanye West that made Watch the Throne, and people are still clamoring for a sequel for some particular reason. There's a few good songs on there, I can't lie, but the whole album, yeah. Anyway, that is not the reason why we're here today. Coming into this effort, I had absolutely no idea what to expect. Hieronymus Goon has made some of the most interesting music that I've listened to to date, but I had no idea who Frank Lee was, and I feel kind of cheated in that manner because, honestly, Frank, you being combined with Goon's vocals and production on this effort for three tracks is amazing, but going into the different genres you guys walk into, almost like you're transitioning from one scene to another in a movie, it's almost seamless. And you guys lay out your motives from the start. You know that you're underground legends, but you're only in the prepubescent stages. If you guys keep making interesting and innovative music like this, you'll always have a space at the throne, so to speak. Now, how many collaborative efforts you know have constant changes like this that are seamless, but then they end on a banging ass song? There are three other times that I have heard VIPN on some of the production that Goon has made with his songs in the past. This song has probably... Yeah, 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 it's, 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 it's number two. Number one is still brand new, but... Better Days is one of the best songs I have ever heard. And that's just me personally. Because the beat is amazing, the vocals are amazing, and the fact that it transitions from verse, chorus, verse into the chorus again, not often can you find people that are willing to make a seamless effort to make the album whole, because it's showing who they are. There isn't a single thing that I have found yet that Hieronymus Goon cannot do. This man makes beats, he plays acoustic guitar, he's in a band, he sings, he raps, he makes Instagram face filters, he's made rendered pictures that have been loved by many people, and he makes music videos, and I could probably go on for probably another five minutes, but nevertheless, there isn't a single thing that I have found yet that this man cannot do. I've listened to some of Frank's music outside of this, but I'm not really going to comment on that just yet. I'm going to save that for next week. This project in and of itself shows that you shouldn't be afraid to branch out and find people that you don't have any personal relationship with. In the underground scene, it is so damn hard to find a collaborative effort anywhere. You can plug people's music left and right, but the second that you click with them on a chemistry level and you start to work with them, they see your motives, they understand your motives, and you understand theirs and keep moving. That's the kind of support that you need. If you freaking support these people, they will support you in return. That is the one thing that I've taken away from music in the past seven months. If you support people, they will give you the support in return. It's a never-ending cycle of happiness. And that's so freaking difficult for people to understand. Yeah, rap's a rat race. But how many times do you see motherfuckers come in last just because they're being big-headed about their music? You may be the best rapper out there, but you don't need to talk about it every three seconds. You can talk about how the underground scene sucks every song, but you better back that shit up. You better back it up. You better switch up the flow. You better start singing every once in a while. Or at least attempt to. Auto-tune is here for a reason. We don't hate it anymore. It's not 2006. We need to understand that there are multiple ways to go about making your music. And if you don't want to make music with other people, stay in a solo lane. But the second that you branch out and start collaborating with people that share your like-minded effort of making music a better place, regardless of whether or not you share the same topic at that time, always, 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 always remember that these people are here to support you, but you need to support them first. If they don't know about you, show them some support. Make it a full-blown effort. Because if you work with that person, they'll listen to that song that you made with them. And then they'll look into your catalog. It's not a secret. It's just common sense. You have to understand the business venture of a musician. And if you think being a musician isn't a business, then you're slipping. And you don't fully understand it yet.
and you may end up coming across a time where you feel like you can't make music anymore and things will be difficult. You might feel like you've hit rock bottom and you feel like you'll never be able to write anything ever again. You might need to reassess your approach. Find out who you are. Find out what you make music for because the second that you understand it's almost like finding all six infinity stones. You put that glove on and you just snap and things make sense. Not to get dorky with the reference, but that's the only way that I can think of it. I think that's all I have to say on this project. You guys worked very well on a chemistry level. And I honestly hope that there is a sequel for this. If not, I hope that there's more collaborative efforts in the future. Thank you all for tuning in. My name is Ethan, otherwise known as Two-Face. This is my show, Claws, where I review underground music and mainstream the like. I haven't done much mainstream recently, thank God, because there's so much delicious underground music out there. Tune in next week when I review the recent Frank Lee mixtape, This Body is Undesirable. Until then, enjoy your weekend, stay selfish, peace.